This video is going to show you how to use a switch to select between different uh, options and control the flow of your program in C++. So I've got this set up already to uh, offer the user a choice. What do you want to do? One, eat candy, or two, open a door, grab their um, answer. And then what I'm going to do is, based on which option they choose, I'm going to output a different result to the screen. So to make a switch, it starts with the word switch. And then inside the parentheses here, you put the variable that you would like to make your selection based on. So since I see it into choice, that's the variable I'm going to look at here. And inside the switch, I write the different cases there could possibly be. So they could have said one. And if they did, then I want to say, OK, uh, you have been poisoned. Sorry. All right. Uh, and then when I'm done with a particular case, I write the word break, and that will break me out of the switch, because I know if I've already found the match in one, then I don't need to continue looking at the stuff. Okay? The other option they could have chosen is two. Uh, you are free if they go out the door. Okay, I'm going to put a break here because I want to show you, um, if you want a case that handles like everything else they could type, so they could type 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, etc., or negative numbers, then I can handle all of those as one thing at the very end by writing default which means in all other cases uh, that wasn't an option alright so if I run this guy and I put this output at the end just to show you that that's where the the flow of the program uh, resumes after the switch so if I run this guy I should be able to answer the question alright so let's eat the candy you've been poisoned sorry you're now here that's my statement that's after my switch if I try two, then I'm free. If I try 600, then I get the message that that wasn't an option. Okay, So that's the first thing to show you. The second thing I want to show you is uh, a common uh, mistake for young programmers is that they forget the breaks. And if you leave the breaks out, it'll just do everything else that happens after the one that's a match. So if I take those breaks out and I choose one, it'll do all three of these statements. If I take these breaks out and I choose two, it'll do these last two statements. So let me show you that is true. So if I choose 600, I'm just going to get the last one because that'll match the default. But if I choose two, I'm going to get the actual message plus the one for default because it doesn't check for a match again. It just keeps doing all the rest of the statements. And if I do one, then I'm going to get all of them. Okay, So that's often a mistake, but it also can be used to your advantage. So like, let's say I add an additional option in here to my menu. Um, eat pizza okay and I'm going to make the candy and the pizza both be poisoned so I'm gonna have the same message well I can combine cases by going like this then I just list them one after another so if I do one then I get the message about being poisoned and if I do three then I get the message about being poisoned so I can handle like cases together now what you might notice with a switch is that it's good when you have very specific matches that you're looking for so I'm looking for one three or two notice they don't have to be in order this isn't good for when you're looking for a huge range of stuff but if you're looking for specific matches this is excellent um, another thing you need to know about switches is that it works for integer types so int long uh, short, etc., and also for chars. So if I wanted to do this with letters instead, it would just look slightly different. So let's do A, B, and C, and we want to take care of silly users by checking both cases, just in case they don't know that their cap locks is on. And then we'll do B here. And notice the only difference between using chars and using ants is that I've got to put stuff in single quotation marks. And so now it will work with the letters instead of the numbers. So just to verify that, here is my choosing to eat pizza and have been poisoned. So that's how switch works. Again, good for short, specific lists of items that don't necessarily represent like a series of numbers because there are other things that'll work better for that. But that is how you use a switch in C++.